So just absolutely awful news for anybody who cares about the arts, the culture, literature, uh, just fairness in life. Uh, the author, uh, Salman Rushdie, uh, was stabbed on stage during a literary event in New York. Uh, as I'm saying this, he is in surgery. I hope he is going to be okay. Uh, this is the culmination of constant, endless uh, Islamist death threats that have been going on since he published a book called Satanic Verses, uh, which was believed uh, by the Ayatollah of the moment uh, when it came out in 1989, the Ayatollah of Iran issued a fatwa, a kill order, a, ki a hit order on uh, Salman Rushdie for this book that he had written that uh, the Ayatollah of Iran took to be, um, uh, you know, against Islam, at which Rushdie says it's not. Uh, I remember when this happened, I was a fledgling mystery writer. I had just brought out one of my first pseudonymous uh, mysteries. I was writing under the name Keith Peterson. Uh, I was desperate to get my career started, but when uh, one of the big bookstore chains reacting to this in fear pulled uh, Rushdie's book from the shelves, I joined an actual protest with something I very rarely do, marching around the bookstore that I was praying would sell one of my paperback mysteries. And there I was marching and uh, shouting at how uh, cowardly they were for doing this. This meant the world to me. I remember speaking to a very uh, at the time, I remember speaking to a famous uh, left-wing novelist and professor and saying, this is a terrible, terrible thing. And he said, well, he did insult their religion, you know. And I just was absolutely flabbergasted. It was the first, in 1989, it was the first whiff of that kind of political correctness that would let an author, an author suffer a death threat and just shrug it off. A leftist would just shrug off this death threat uh, because we were so sensitive to the hurt feelings of uh, Nazi uh, Islamists. I, I met Rushdie in, in, uh, during the Bush administration. Laura Bush invited me to participate in one of her literary events. Uh, it was a it was a lovely event. Lots of authors there talking, reading from their books. I gave a reading from Empire of Lies, and then in the evening there was a, a dinner party, a, t a black tie tux dinner party. I, I believe it was at the Folger Library. It may have been at the Library of Congress. Uh, I can't uh, remember which. Uh, I was. It was kind of wonderful. The the economy had just crashed. It was 2008, and the economy had just crashed, and there was a small uh, dinner table, and there at the dinner table was were the place cards, and one place card said President George W. Bush, and the one next to it said Andrew Clavin. I was seated next to the president because he was pleased about an editorial I had written about Batman and Bush uh, in the Wall Street Journal, and uh, they, they played that the triumphant music hail to the chief, bam, 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 and Bush came in, and he walked up to me, because I was the guy to be seated next to him, and shook my hand and said, I wish I could stay, but I've, I believe what he says, I've got to put this puppy to bed, meaning I've got to fix the economy. Uh, he didn't want to be filmed in a tuxedo having dinner when people were suffering because of the economy, and so he left. I didn't get to sit next to him. I was very disappointed, but I did get to meet Salman Rushdie. Uh, I'm very shy. It's very hard for me to go up to strangers at parties, but I saw him there, and have felt having felt this connection uh, with him and with his uh, this danger that he had been in, I walked up to him, uh, and I said, you must feel like you were a pilot fish, that you were a warning, because you were the first sign, not only that uh, it, Islam had got this strain of radical death-dealing uh, Islamism in it, but also that the left would abandon you, that the left would simply shrug off the fact that they could murder an author uh, as long as it served the destruction of the West. Uh, and he was very uh, elegant fellow, very uh, well-spoken, and did say that it was a kind of warning uh, that this movement was coming. Uh, I asked him how his life had been, and he said it was hampered by this because he had had to live in hiding and in security all the time. Uh, I believe I made a joke about standing too close, to, not wanting to stand too close to him, uh, but I figured that was a joke that many people had made. Uh, he was a, a charming, like I said, a charming, elegant, literate man, uh, and uh, and I hope that he is going to be fine. This is played out. This is a, the playing out, though of a real hatred on the left of the, of, of the West itself, of the things that make them who they are, of the sources of their ideas, the sources of their wisdom. They have not, they have not deplored 
uh, the uh, hatred and, and violence against them. They didn't deplore it in 1989. They haven't deplored it since. They haven't deplored the Islamism that has poisoned uh, the well and the religion of many peaceful and well-meaning uh, and truly religious uh, Islamic people. Uh, they have not stood up to this. And uh, if this is the... Um, the fruit of that poison tree of the leftist hatred of the West, uh, they will answer for it. They will answer for it in heaven, if not before. Uh, I, I really sincerely hope that this very talented and important writer is all right and will not, has not been destroyed by this now 30-year uh, hatred uh, nursed by these madmen. Um, so I, I wish him well.